Today we're going to be talking about my Merrill Moab Vent 2s. Here it is. This is a shoe I am using for the 2019 hiking season. This is a Merrill Moab Vent 2. This is a low. I also have the mid, just in a coyote brown color. But let me show you the shoes I used last year on the trail, primarily. Uh, the first off was my New Balance, which is super comfortable. It's a trail runner, real lightweight. It's one of their all-terrain ones. It is the model number Cayman Trail, fresh foam. And I am transitioning these over to my softball shoe. Yes, I do play slow pitch softball, and these shoes are super comfortable. But the other shoe I was using is a Columbia Montreal. It's not like the old Montreals. Uh, when Columbia purchased the brand Montreal, they purchased them for a lot of their patents and stuff, and now they've transitioned it to being uh, Montreal by Columbia. They're still a comfortable shoe, uh, real lightweight. These ones were the OutDry, which you can probably see right there, which is their waterproof shoe. And this was the Colorado 2. I've used Montreal's for years. They're super comfortable, but I thought it's time to change it up. And that's why I went with this, the Merrill Moab Vent 2. So let's talk about these shoes and why I'm switching to them. First off, most people know this with a Merrill right away is the outsole. These outsoles are the Vibram outsoles. They are very durable, very grippy. I pulled my hand down pretty hard on here. Um, also, I like that right there, a little bit of bend. Um, but you can see right there, there's a Vibram logo also on the side. Next, let's talk about the midsole. The midsole in here has a Merrill air cushion inside, which absorbs a lot of shock as you're walking right here in the heel and also adds to a little bit more stability. From the few trips I've used this on so far, it is comfortable. And as I'm hitting like rocks or something like that, I'm not feeling that in the heel at all. Let's talk about the uppers of the Moab Vent 2. It's made out of a performance suede material that they called on the Merrill website, along with the mesh inserts. That gives it the breathability that these shoes did not have with the out dry material. Also in the upper, you have the stability bar that runs along here, and then right through here, which adds just a little bit more support. As with any other Merrill shoe, it comes with what's called the Merrill Fit System. That is going to be the heel is going to be really snug, while the toe has a wider toe box, which is great for me. I have fat wide feet and after seven, eight miles into a hike, my feet are starting to swell up a little bit more. And with this toe box, it's great. My, I don't feel snug at all, where I feel like I'm gonna get some blisters on the side sometimes. In the past, I'd get on my little toe right in here, I'd get a blister or on the big toe on the outsides. And I'm not getting it with this shoe. It is a comfortable shoe. One other modification I make to all my shoes, which you can see here, is put a little Velcro tab on the back. I use Gorilla Glue to attach that, and that is for my gaiters. So I use some Outdoor Research gaiters, and they'll just attach right here on the front, and right here on the back, the Velcro attaches perfect. So that's a quick little um, modification that anybody can do. Well, like I said earlier, this is gonna be my primary hiking shoe of 2019. We've got some big hikes coming up, and some short hikes as well, and I know this shoe is gonna perform really well for me out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review, quick overview on this shoe. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, comment below, always appreciate it. And then I'll also throw up some uh, videos here, some other product reviews. So until the next one, thanks for having me.